with the interactive mathematics for laboratory medicine. It's available on the iPad. And as you can see, uh, I'm scrolling through the book, uh, showing you all the chapters. It covers quite a wide variety of topics. There are some unique features in the book. It has, because it's an interactive book, it has a number of uh, uh, calculator widgets. For example, here is shown a scientific calculator widget, where you can use a scientific calculator to do some of the calculations in the book. There are also multiple choice questions. It starts off at a fairly basic level um, to look at a variety of topics. Uh, there are streaming videos that you can access. In addition, there's also another unique feature. All of the, the calculation solutions uh, are shown in hand script so that you can actually follow them and stop and start uh, when you wish to. So I've given you an idea of the layout of the book, but uh, this is a very unique book, and it's a very powerful book, and there's no other book like it on the market. So I want to show you a couple of features uh, that make the book unique. You've seen the calculator widget, which is programmed into the book, so that you can use a scientific calculator to cal work, deal with the problems in this chapter or, or problems from other books. I'm also going to show you uh, some of the other widgets that are in here. Uh, there's one for uh, the Bayes' theorem calculation, which I'll show you shortly. And there's also one for, for the um, sensitivity and specificity. I also want to point out the, the feature of the hand script uh, moving across the screen, which can be uh, speeded up or, or stopped as, as the reader wishes. And so this is another uh, unique uh, feature of the book. The multiple choice questions have the answers built in, so uh, you can test yourself when you when you are working uh, through all the problems. I'm just going to take you through the Bayes' theorem calculator. This is an inline uh, Bayes' theorem calculator which has been uh, programmed into the book. You can enter the numbers and you can calculate the probability and the odds ratio. Now the idea is not for the uh, reader to actually to to use this to study, but actually to use this as, as a tool. But obviously you have to know how to do the calculations manually in the first instance. So these are just uh, aids to assist assist you with uh, with the calculations, especially calculations from other sources and for checking your own answers. And then I want to show you the uh, sensitivity and specificity calculator which is also programmed in as a widget and you can enter your numbers in and it will calculate uh, the specificity and the sensitivity values for you and in addition also calculate the confidence intervals. Again this is just to assist you to check your own answers when you're working through problems from other books.